This is Oak, a luxurious 66 foot traditional stern narrowboat, the likes of which I'm pretty confident in saying you haven't seen before and you probably won't see again. She's absolutely unique. She's absolutely stunning. And she's called Oak for a reason that will soon become apparent. Age, she was built on an Orion hull in 2000. The engine is 1969, a Gardner 2LW. Virtually everything else on the boat, mechanical or electrical, has been replaced since 2012 when the current owners bought her. And all the woodwork on board is antique, so the only age bit I suppose that is relevant is the 2000 hull. The rest of it is either newer than that or older than that. The well deck you saw there is beautiful. You'll see that when we go inside the boat. That's four feet, uh, sorry, six foot two long with five foot ten headroom. Unusual headroom for a well deck. And the garden is in here. And the paintwork's in good condition. She was last blacked a year ago in August 2017. Eight new anodes put on her and she's been serviced annually by the owner. Come inside and you're going to see what I mean. It's the most beautiful boat I've seen, I believe. She was fitted out by cabinet makers and you'll see the quality as we go through. She's reverse style to a degree, so the galley's the first cabin that we enter. Oak panelling to the sides and ceiling throughout the boat. And wooden parquet floor. All the handles and light switches are beautiful. Most of them are antique brass. Plenty of cupboard space here in the galley. The, the chap who had her built owned a, uh, a cabinet making business, R. Bishop. And he had his firm build her in 2000. I'm going to run out of adjectives on this boat, uh, but hopefully the camera can do it some justice. I, I believe she probably won't do it all justice, but we'll try. Storage under these steps. Beautiful boatman's box there is the final step to the stern deck. Cupboards on the starboard side as well as the port as you enter. A lot of what you see on board are personal possessions which will be going with the boat. I'll try and highlight as we go through what is staying. Those charming English antique captain's chairs on that table are staying. And the wall plates in the galley that you saw here are going, but that's the nuts and bolts of the kitchen. This is the fridge. That's a 12 volt Vitra Frigo that was new in 2013. There's a knife drawer above it. Beautifully finished cupboard above that. With a brass wall light there, you can see tucked away. The sink and the gas hob and oven are on the port side here. Good storage under there. This is a vanette. Four burner gas hob oven and grill. Nice and clean. And next to that is one of the characteristics of this kitchen that make it so charming. The... The range, it's an SE, completely stripped down and refurbished in 2018 prior to sale. It's effectively brand new, some storage drawers underneath. That heats the radiators on board, the hot water, and of course the kitchen. It's a solid fuel range and of course you can cook in the oven or on the hot plate. There's a back boil on the range. There's a side hatch here and down we go through the hallway. The airing cupboard is on your left here. In there's a very large calorifier, 120 litres. That has an immersion heater wired in. The washing machine sits under there. That's a Zanussi compact and plenty of storage for linen or drying things. Stunning woodwork. The engine room's next, and I think this is probably the first one you'll ever see that is oak panelled. 
there's a fabulous gardener electric start everything's hydraulic so there is no prop shaft running down towards the stern of the boat push pull gear change and speed wheel she handles beautifully the storage there on the floor and under here is the four kilowatt generator that's a Fisher Panda, hugely expensive, cost over £10,000 to install that. That was new in 2012-13, and that inverter you see there is 3 kilowatt. That was new in 2017. Very good space in here. Not included in here are the personal clothing and the tools. Excuse me, that's a bespoke brass radiator with butyl tiled behind. That's heated by the, the range in the kitchen. And into the bathroom, make of this what you will, it's exquisite. Beautiful tiling around. The loo is porcelain, that's a macerator pump out system. Lovely panelling again in the Ceramic basin is so pretty. And I should think you've not seen a loo roll holder like that. Lovely storage box there. Look at those hinges. And the bath with shower over sits under a bespoke brass towel rail. Head height in the boat, I've not mentioned that yet, is six foot five. And the bathroom itself is not six foot three long. I didn't mention the, the galley, that's 14 feet 10 long. And the engine room is seven foot nine inches long. When we go to the bedroom, nine feet long. So opulent in here, there's another individual light. The bed is actually four poster, there are posts built into the tumble homes. Stunning dresser here. That's where you can see the, the quality of the woodwork. There's a wardrobe over here. Floor to ceiling. And the bed is completely storage under. The bed itself is six foot long by four feet wide another brass radiator in here lots of bookshelf shelving under the gunnels on the starboard side so lovely and into the saloon 12 feet 7 inches long Feels like you're in a manor house front room. Two beautiful French antique leather chairs. They're staying, as is the carpet. Beautiful dresser here in the corner. Lovely drawer handles there. Quite a lot of the personal effects in here will be going. The tea tray is going, but it shows you how she can look and feel. The widescreen television is in this beautiful cabinet. It's quite an art opening that with one hand, I can tell you. And the solid fuel stove in here is a Belgo, um, a Franco Belge solid fuel stove. Absolutely delightful piece of equipment, and the tiled hearth is so pretty. There's a storage cupboard in the corner here. Hopefully that gives you a feel for how this room looks and the ambience in it. Onto the well deck, as I said, you can st well I can stand up in here. It's five foot ten. Water tanks either side. There's a combined capacity of twelve hundred liters, so enormous water storage. It's not just a normal locker here for storage. Again, it's oak. There's a beautiful light up here against the cratch board. 
Crouch cover was new in September 2017. Really good condition. Clear panels both sides. I've left one side down here so you can see hopefully how new she is. And that's it, that is oak. But let's walk back through the boat. Any excuse to spend another minute on here and I'll take it, thank you. She comes fully equipped with all the usual navigation equipment. Both build pumps were new in 2013. She has a water ingresser alarm under the floors. Stern land packing and grease are new. The gas I didn't mention is in the locker in the bows. And there's a bow thruster. I didn't mention a bow thruster, that's a hydraulic system. There we go, a real treat, I have to say, for me to be in this boat. There's even a brass hanging rail there for your wet tea towels. And one thing's for sure, she'll make a stunning and unique home for some lucky person. That's the view from the helmsman's position. Stunning day, stunning boat. For further information, the photo gallery and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.